Hi, my name is Scott. We're putting this 10 by 10 gazebo with awning. It's a two foot awning to it on our deck. And let me show you, this is what the pictures look like. I'm hoping that we actually do it correctly. Follow me. Come on, Precious, you and me today. As you've seen in our previous videos, we did, uh, we added this on here these past couple days. But we are laid our first two coats of stain, which we're probably gonna have to lay a lot more. Um, these are the components for the awning. In this video, I'm going to show you how we put it together. All right, and then I'll do it a tutorial at the end. I still thank my uh, subscribers, Danke sehr, for the Germans. It's mostly what I speak anyway, but beside the point, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, the tools are already set up. This thing has probably roughly around 20 components, including the uh, the canvas awning pieces, the, the tops, but we're going to show you how we put all this together to add to this wonderful dance floor of a deck. The 17 by 14 foot pallet deck to add to our ambiance to our yard. I thank you and we're getting busy. Thank you.
pause. Do me a favor, make sure that you actually, if you're planning to put the uh, the fabric on, the tarp, it says put it on the ground. I did read it, but we wanted to see because we're going to have bad weather shortly. But unfortunately, we turned around and decided against it. We got it all screwed in. Bear with me. I have to reassemble the awning. And give me a sec. The awning is now on and if you actually want to turn around and take it off for the winter time you actually have to remove it off the frame and if you want to make sure it goes back on you have to take it put it back on through the back side of the frame but underneath I'll show you that's to be about the only part as you can tell this is where the frame goes through and the rest of the area is strictly Velcro. It does have the two end pieces, one side and the opposite, and the rest of it's under Velcro and rails. It actually looks pretty good. You close it with one hand, you back up so you can see a little bit better, and now you open it. Same hand, and you open it up. That's it. So it does take a little time together to put all this together. And it's 
so far it's looking good and it does happen to match my house color fortunately we honestly thought we bought the brown but when we opened up we were very quite surprised it's actually bluish tan which is pretty cool all right keep in tune thank you all right now we're going to be putting on this section here which is the large area uh i have to read the instructions and so far i give credit where credit is due the instructions in this in the manual was actually legible and understandable so i will admit that i do understand this one compared to some of the other manuals we've done with our tools and whatnots as you can tell i've got another platform ladder that i use and i'll be doing this so stay tuned hi we finally put this thing up let me show you what we did right now we have this beautiful gray this gazebo put up on our property and as you can tell through the other videos we finally did it all right it's quite simple but it's time consuming and the last little part we had to do was try to figure out how to make sure all these corners strap down which you didn't have velcro what you have is just the tension from it uh the gazebo came with components as you saw when i had earlier and what we actually did is i had all the bolts i needed all the washers all the screws no missing components but just for make sure you have everything you need also get a phillips head screwdriver a 10 millimeter and a a quarter inch socket works even better all right this is what I have me and the missus created this this deck we'll be finishing the stain work and we're actually going to be taking this piece out because as you can tell it is very difficult to walk through my area but we will add it um, folks I appreciate it and the tutorial is this is a 10 by 10 gazebo with a two-foot awning it costs us out of Menard and and fortunately like I turned around and said earlier we were quite surprised it actually turned out great not brown um, when you do the hydraulics on this right here make sure the hydraulics are actually inward like it's supposed to be because in the picture and the manual it actually really didn't dictate but when you close it up it actually pushed them out and it wasn't good and you're going to have a slight issue here at the awning joints here and on the opposite side even if it squares up like we did um, you're going to have to actually maneuver it and sweet talk it to get it to go in right um, unfortunately we still haven't finished the pond right here that's going in this section here um, that would be sometime the end of this month we're hoping um, we do enjoy y'all's comments and if y'all actually do make a comment to me and I do reply, please reply back that y'all understand it because I do have a few subscribers that do that. Um, as you can tell, it's what we have. I thank you. And when you close this awning, by the way, center mass. Close down, you pull it up, center up, and right here at this little joint is the awning latch. That's it. Like I said, we're going to be taking this bar out here today, just this half of it, leaving this section in, and that's it. All right, folks, thank you again. Stay tuned for the next. Okay. Now you got to combine all this shit. Pause. Well, you can cut it off.